trail friend Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. And I've got a great video for you today. Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. And for those of you that have not been here before, welcome to you also. I'm going to be sharing with you one of the questions I get asked probably most of the time with every single individual that I go out with on my relocation service is, I don't really want a car here, or do we need a car to live here? Or what if I don't want a car while I live here? I'm going to give you some pros and cons of having a car. That way you'll be able to make a decision for yourself, which one's best for you. Now, I always like to start with the cons first because you always leave the good stuff for the end. So let me go ahead and start talking about the cons of owning a car here like Chapala. Con, you got to buy gas. <laughs> um, the distance between Ocotepec and Chapal is 20 miles and at the widest part it's about a mile <laughs> so that's so it isn't like you got to fill up with gas every other day or anything I mean the, the amount of driving that you do for the most part if you're retired is just around locally um, I mean we put gas in I don't remember exactly when it was I'm going to say it was a month ago um, and we just put more gas in the day. So, I mean, it really, you can go a long time unless you're driving back and forth to Guadalajara every day or you're, you're taking more of a drive. So the gas is, is a negative when it comes to what you have to put out to have a car. Auto insurance, which is really important. In fact, Mexican auto insurance is important. Registration fees, routine maintenance and repairs. So when it comes to repairs, um, we're talking, you know, oil change, uh, something else you'll find out here. And that is the cobblestone's not real good to the, to the suspension of the car. Now, Barb and I have been here three years. Our suspension does not need to be replaced yet. Um, you do have topes here, which is like speed bumps that you go over. And there might be several of them in succession. But that's the thing about owning a car and is having the upkeep. Now, again... We haven't had to buy new tires. We haven't had to buy, I mean, we bought a, a wiper blade. Um, pretty much, I guess we had a check engine light end up being a gas cap that we had to get at AutoZone. So, I mean, it, it isn't like there were big expenses by any means, but those are the things that, if you're gonna have a car, uh, things that are probably the cons of having a car. Now, for those individuals that really believe, well, I don't need to have a car, there are some options. One option is, is you can get a golf cart. Uh, golf carts run probably in order between five and $10,000, if not a little bit more, or an e-bike, an electric bike. And they run between $2,000 and $5,000. Uh, those are electric bikes. And there is a bike path all the way from Hokotopec to Chapala, which is 20 miles. So you can ride the entire distance on an e electric bike. And um, so that's one, that's another option. That's if, in fact, you don't want to have a car and you're looking at the cons of what's going to cost you have a car. Now, here is one of the most important things. With people that tell me they don't need a car, I end up finding out months later they got a car. And it hasn't just happened once. It's happened time and time again. People move in here. And I've been with a lot of couples over the last year and a half, probably 85 plus couples that have now moved here. Um... And I, I mean, I can think of a couple of folks that don't have a vehicle, but for the most part, people have cars. <laughs> they have to drive it down. That's another video. But so the point is, those are the cons about having a car here. Now, the pros, the advantages of owning a car. Although walking is free, if you're using public transportation, ride sharing services or taxis, you will be shelling out money still to use those services. Now, here's what a car does for you. It brings you convenience. There's less personal freedom if you don't have a car. Less personal freedom to be able to go and do what you wanna do. Cars are associated with complete personal freedom for a reason. So the freedom of being able to come and go whenever you want to. These are some really important things you have to think about. 
having a car means you can go where you want, when you want, and wherever you want. Um, <laughs> without having to check bus routes, wait for ride service, taxi cabs, or a bus. If you like to be out and about moving more versus, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are people that come here that live on the trans, just on the public transportation. That is fine. I mean, it, this is all a personal choice. Barbara and I, we got here, we realized we're glad we drove our car down. Um, as I said, there's a lot of folks that end up are glad that they have their car. Here. There are those that don't. Some feel they, they just don't have that type of lifestyle where they, you know, maybe they're going out every day or maybe they don't have an active lifestyle. Um, you know, Barbara and I, there's things that we do. We're meeting with people. I'm doing videos. I mean, if I didn't have a car, um, I'm not real good about getting in the back of a horse. <laughs> so I'd rather have the horse power under the engine. Um, cars are especially nice when rainstorms or hot temperatures make walking or waiting for a bus unpleasant. Now, I did some real studying on this. So I, I've got, I've tried to pick all the pros and all the cons I could get. So cars are especially nice, as I said, with rainstorms and with hot temperatures. How about the opportunity of helping others that might need a ride home from work or a ride home from the restaurant or ride home from the doctor's office? Shopping is easier with a car. Trips to Costco, Sam's Club, and even Walmart just to name a few by using a car being a lot more convenient. It makes dining out easier, running errands, going to medical appointments, visiting friends, transporting items. Every time you need a ride somewhere, having a car pays for itself. And the last one I got in there is emergency situations. So having a car, or not having a car at Lake Chapala. Again, Barbara and I chose to have a car. Um, I mean, as I said, I've got people that have asked me, I've had couples in the car fighting. <laughs> he says, I want a car. She says, I, doesn't, I don't want a car. So who do you think wins that? <laughs> but it's um, the car thing, it goes back and forth. And uh, there are folks that come that you know, says, you know what, I, I can't live out there because I don't have a car. Or I really like this place, but I'm not going to be able to get there without a car. I mean, those kind of things come up. So what happens if you really like a place, it's really the best thing for you and you don't have a car? Um, I'd rather say to you that you've really got to take a good, a good, strong thought to it. Now, know this. When you come down, if you're coming down on a tourist visa, you can be here six months and you can have your car foreign plated from Mexico, from, uh, from the States or Canada. When you become permanente or also through being a temporal, you can still have it for four years, your foreign plated car. Once you become a permanente, you can no longer be driving a uh, foreign plated car. It has to be Mexican car. So those are some things I hope to help for you, help for you. Um, when it comes to owning a car or not owning a car here. Um, again, if I had everybody in the room here share with you what their experience has been with or without a car, I think you're going to find that the majority of folks talk about having a car. There's some folks that don't like the traffic, but they realize that, you know, they want to be able to have that total freedom. So it's a personal choice. Hope that's been helpful for you. Friend, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's fast, free, and easy to do. All you've got to do is go to the bottom right-hand corner. There's a little red box. Tap on it, and you're subscribed. Go ahead and give us one of those thumbs up. Let's other people know it's a great video to watch about retiring here to Lake Chapala. Also, stop by, ask a question, say hi, uh, leave a comment, or even talk about a video you'd like to see. But also make sure you hit the bell, too, because that way you'll be immediately notified when a new video comes out, and you don't want to miss our next video. So with that, as always, thank you so much for being a part of this channel, supporting it. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you on the next video.